Well, good morning. You join us here on the banks of the River Bure at St Bennett's Abbey on the Norfolk Broads. It's a beautiful day. Rained all day yesterday. Today's glorious. And hopefully we're going to be catching plenty of skimmers. We'll take you through later on rigs and baits. Um, but hopefully we'll be getting plenty more of these as the day goes on. Right, just a quick run through of the tackle and the kit I'm using today. Got a Horizon 4000 reel loaded with, just so I remember, 08 submerged braid, um, which is something I haven't done a lot of, but I'm experimenting at the moment with braid and it's interesting to say the least. Um, got Horizon Pro X Class 11 foot 10. Um, down to my rig, which is very simple. I like to keep everything simple in all my fishing. I don't like lots of swivels and attachments and everything else. And a brilliant tip given to me years ago by Nick Speed, I don't know if you can see that, is leaving a long tag on your hook length loop. And it just seems to add as a rudder and nothing will ever twist. Even like reeling in worms, double maggot, it looks horrible, but it saves having a load of swivels and everything on your rig, which I like. Uh, I've simply got three float stops, two below, one above, which I can move around. I tend, if I'm catching big bream, to have a bigger gap, let them hook themselves. If you're catching lots of little fish, you can lock it right up so it's almost like a bolt rig and then the little fish will hook themselves. Um, end of my main line, I just have two loops just to act as a bit of a boom to kick it out. Then the long tag on the hook length knot down to the 14 MXB3. It's as simple as that. Right, so that's the rigs and the tackle talked about. Next is bait. Um, it's very simple, really. A few maggots just for the hook. Um, some casters. Then some worms. You don't need loads of worms, half a kilo is more than enough. You'll always take some home. Um, a darkish ground bait, sweet fish meal, stroke natural. chop some worms up, just a pinch of each in your ground bait each chuck. Um, one thing I'd have if it was a match is some dead squat. I definitely think, I was put onto it by a really good local angler, Steve Kindley sides, and ever since then, I always do it. That's something that you can plow in through your feeder and it definitely draws more fish. Um, couldn't get any for today, but we're only pleasure fishing, so it doesn't matter. Um, so it's as simple as that, really. Sometimes you might have a tin of corn in the bag, not so much on this river, um, but some of the river's eels can be a bit of a nuisance. Um, so then I'd probably cut the worm and caster out and just persevere with corn. You'd wait a bit longer for bites, but at least that gets through the eels. Um, simple as that really, day's feeder fishing, kilo and a half of ground baits, more than enough. Pint, pint and a half of casters, half a kilo of worms, then you're done. Right, something to consider as well is feeder choice. Um, it sounds daft, but it's no good just going with one size and one weight of feeder. Obviously on a tidal river like we're on today, we know the flow is going to change, so we're going to have to 
use heavier and lighter feeders to hold bottom as the tide changes. Um, most of today I've been on two ounces because it's been flowing quite hard for here. Um, at the moment the tide's now easing up so I'm, I'm down to an ounce now. Um, and also the size of the feeders. Although there's a load of fish there today, I found a smaller feeder is better. Um, I think it's probably emptying quicker than the bigger feeder and the fish are just finding the hook bait sooner, as daft as that sounds, with there being a lot of fish there. Most of the bites today have come within 20 seconds of going in. So I think just that smaller feeder is emptying in that time and we're getting bites quicker. If we were sitting waiting for an odd big fish, then I think I'd go in with the big feeder because we don't want the feeder to empty straight away. And that's the other reason for using cage feeders today in that I want that bait to come out and be fishing almost as soon as it hits the bottom. But even on a normal river, it's still best to play around. Some days they'll want it nailed on a big heavy feeder. Some days, like we've found today, a feeder that's barely holding bottom occasionally moving has been the best way to go. So just carry a selection of sizes, a selection of weights, and play around on the day as to what's best. Right, I hope you're enjoying the film so far. We're having a brilliant day's fishing. Um, it's very, very hot, so for health and safety reasons, we've had to stop to rehydrate ourselves. Um, I love the Norfolk Broads. It holds a special place in my heart. It's where I first started fishing. We used to have family holidays and things on the broads. Comment below and let us know what places are special to you. Fishing these tidal rivers, something you have to think about and get your head right for is the boats. Um, obviously, especially on a narrow tidal river like this, it's horrendous, but it doesn't upset the fish. The fish are used to them day and night. Sometimes it actually colours the water up and makes the fishing better. Um, they do obviously affect your fishing. I've had times today where I've had to wait three or four minutes before I can cast out if boats are coming closer. Um, but you just have to accept it's part and parcel. It's a holiday resort at the end of the day, so you just have to accept it and not let it upset you, basically. Um, you get the odd silly one, but in general, you just got to be patient and put up with it. Right, just about to call it a day. We've fished for maybe three, three and a half hours. It's been brilliant. We're so lucky to have these rivers close by. I've had a bite every single chuck all day. Um, it's been slower moments. There's a spell for, during the middle where the tide really, really picked up and it flowed really heavily. And there was a lot of debris coming down. It was hard to keep your feeder in the water long enough to get a bite then. But if you did, you still got a bite. Um, Half a worm tipped with a maggot has been the best bait. Tried small bits of worm, but that's just smaller fish. Bigger worms were waiting longer for bites, so it's just been a case of playing a numbers game and getting an odd bigger fish in between. Um, it's been a funny tide today. It's flooded all day and come up quite a lot for here, so it was a, it's been a big tide. As you can see, still getting a bite of chuck now, and we've been messing around filming and stuff as well. Um, it's just been a phenomenal day's fishing. The tide's now easing up. Um, probably another half an hour or so it'll stop and then it'll start running out. Um, sometimes you get a lull during that period, but I honestly think there's that many fish here today that we wouldn't. Ooh. Another nice skimmer. Smaller one this time, but still lovely fish to catch. But yeah, it's just been an awesome day's fishing on the River Beer at St Bennett's Abbey.